From the capital, the station is now the ultimate power in the universe, baby. Overview radio, bring you overview podcast, aka Komaji thing, aka Mass Country for the masses of the country. My name is Joey, as you already know. This is a very special episode, man. And we are bringing you a very special episode, as I already mentioned, man. We are joined by none other than member of parliament for Maum West, right? Correct. Yeah, uh, president of the Botswana Congress Party, right? Correct. Um, he was born in 1971, right? Getting it right. <laughs> <laughs> His name is none other than yeah. Rod Dooms, Jimeran Salishando! Thank you for having me. I wish I could start the year with your level of energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, like, you can try to, yeah, there is your camera. Like, you can try to talk to the people, like, with my level of energy. Um, look, <laughs> I was born before 1974. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yes. Uh, welcome to Overview Podcast, Honorable. Thank you for having uh, me. I, I think said. this is the, no, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is the first time I'm having um, a party president on the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, we are honored to like to have you here. Oh, the pleasure is mine. You know, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, we had Bigi Butaleba at the time and then like, you know, yeah, he was suspended and all that, you know, yeah. So yeah, like he never really made it back. But yeah, uh, how was Sai Karun Rabo? You know, yeah, like uh, you came here earlier on the place, the hotel. Yeah. And well, then, look, yeah. nice place. Cool, quiet. I actually didn't know about it until today. Yeah. But um, just talking to the staff here, I realized that I actually have been a guest at one of their facilities in Seru. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So nice, clean, decent, and I'm. I'll recommend it to anyone any day. Hundred percent. How was the coffee? Uh, let's let's see if I last the duration of the interview. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if I run out of steam, it will mean that the coffee was not strong enough. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, getting right into it, honorable. Yes. You have a very interesting name. Eh. Uh, all my entire life, uh, I've never known anyone else. We didn't go Dumela. You know, rapper uh, like Dumela and like it's a uh, it's a uh, symbolic. Uh, Greeting, yeah. you know, I always wonder what uh, your parents like. Where did they get that? You know, it doesn't from? mean hello. It, it means something else. It does. When I was born, my at the time was my best. My dad was a pastor. Gilson. Yes. Is it? Nedi Muruti Kosabat. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And. Um, my mother was also staunch Seventh-day Adventist. Sabbath. Oh, Sabbath. Yeah. So when I was born, they were on a mission to win souls for the Almighty. Okay. So, oh. so in the English, it's, it's not hello, it's oh. be, believe in thee. Okay. Wow. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes. And... Um, after more than 50 years of using the name, uh, my ears are so accustomed yeah. to hey. Alec, uh, trying to tease me to see if I would pick the difference. For hey. a, I, I know when you are greeting. Yeah. I know when you are calling. Yeah. I know when you are being funny. The tone is different. Always different. <laughs> so like if I say Dumela, uh, what You're do you not think? calling me. <laughs> what about like Dumela? Uh-uh. Yes. <laughs> okay, what if I say, Dumela? You're still not calling me, and I think it's because you're trying out, but okay. my ears can pick it. Okay. When someone is, and Peter, yeah. Adu Medisa Mungwe Hatoko, yeah. And Medisa, uh. or trying to see if they can be somewhere in between. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, like, what are the nicknames that you have uh, picked up at school or all? Yo! <laughs> Multitudes, uh. um, starting from home. Yeah. For some reason, my dad just used to call me Mr. Mr. Yeah, just Mr. Why? I don't know. I've actually never asked him. But, um, ah, Mr. Hey. And then I know it's an old friend, family friend from, from Silibi Pico. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
again, it was just dooms. Yeah. But of course, there are those funny ones. Yeah. Score second, Daribu, people teasing you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 those ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, 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 those irritating ones. Yeah. Uh, so the Lord one, you know, Lord Dooms. Uh, I get it. Now you are Lord Dooms. Like, did it come with politics? Can I say? Let's talk about holo holo. Lele, Isha, to be honest with you. Okay. Yeah. Lele, Isha. I, I doubt if it's even five years. Uh. I, I'm not too sure where it came from, but yeah. it was from some member of the BCP. Mm. I'll need to check this out. I I think the first person I saw using it more Facebook was nearly one fellow called Jackson Coco. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you originated it, but I yeah. it made me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Why? Um, for some time, I was hoping it would die away. Why? <laughs> hey, Lord seems pompous. Oh, yeah. Ah, but, ah, come on. Eh, okay. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I feel like they were putting you in that pedestal, you know, like, oh, yeah, you are great at what you do. Yeah, but I get yeah, 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 yeah. But like look, uh, yeah. nowadays it doesn't make me cringe as it used to. Before. In the past, I hope yeah. it doesn't mean I'm growing big headed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> now, for me, trying to be the normal guy around town it's, yeah. is what works for me. Lord Dooms. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, I understand that uh, you were born in Kanye. Yes, I was born in Kanye. Mm -hmm. um, my late mother was from that area, oh. but more specifically, Nazo Matiti. Matiti is a small village um, between Kanye and on your way up to the Borolong area. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh okay, yeah. Okay, so okay. okay. it's a splash. Um, yes, yeah. um, she. And then I have a lot of aunties in Kanye. Mm -hmm. So yes, I was born there. Mm. And I actually even started my schooling there. Kokanye? Hey, Kokanye, a school called Rachele Primary School. Okay. Hey, that's why so, I did my standard one. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, you're schooling from standard one, go Kanye, and then from there you went where to... Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I was quite a man on... A, a child on the move. Yeah. Because... When I when I I get to school ko ko kanye it was because my dad at the time when I berekel ko tsabo remember there were no roads yeah well I don't know if you would ask it's fair to ask you to yeah well I've heard I've heard but now after seventy four ninety before no tsabo agagrabe eh and yeah. my mother at the time was um, abroad furthering her studies. Okay. So I was adopted by one of the aunties temporarily. Okay. And did my standard one. Mm. But before I had just standard one, my dad got a job. Mm. Yeah. He then moved, I uh, was then moved to Crescent Primary School. Yeah. Yeah, had standard one a day. Please teach me I go to the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and therefore, sometimes when I talk about the need to use mother tongue yeah. instruction, uh. I know the pain yeah. of being in a class uh. when there's no communication between you oh, and Oh, Ghana Crescent is a private it's school. A, it's a newest medium school. Yeah, yeah. So when so, I, you uh, ah, no, 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 public no, 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 school. I was like, 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 it was a struggle when people celebrated at the end of the year. What last was standard two, standard two. Yeah. Now I was in the corner there, <laughs> knowing full well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't deserve standard two. Yeah. yeah. But then, fortunately for standard two, I went back to a, a government school. Okay. My father then moved to Khaburoni for a new job, another job. Okay. I was in the primary school. Oh, yeah. Let's see can take you. Le Sedi has a Kakala Lebo Popopin area. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Again, I don't know from your age, but I have to call my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's around that area. <laughs> yeah. So I did my standards too there. Yeah. School started being a little bit nice again. Mm. Okay. And then when I was just due for standard three, my dad moved again. Mm. So I went to Pique Primary School. Because it was Pique for standard three. Yeah. And then did an interview for the Kopano Primary School. Kopano is a private school. It's another private school. And yeah, it was again disaster. Yeah. <laughs> I really lived Crescent. Yeah. In fact, to be honest, I always tell people, I actually failed the interview. Okay. Yeah. And mainly because I think I still also had the shock. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't comfortable. Mm. 
I remember the family uniting the night before my interview. Mm. You know, practicing. <laughs> With you. My name is Dumelang Salashan. <laughs> I am so many years old. What, 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 what? Yeah. And then I get there, and there is this white Rhodesian mm. vice principal. Big hair, shirt, uh, safari suit, actually, partly open, uh, hairy hey, chest. Yeah. Conversed briefly with my mother. What is your name? I cried. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that was the end of the interview. Yeah. <laughs> we get back home. My I'm the eldest. Yeah. My younger brothers want to find out how did the interview go. Yeah. And they could tell, I think, from my face, sorry. No discussions. Yeah. <laughs> but I was lucky I was admitted nonetheless. Oh, okay. I think because my dad was working for BCL. Oh, okay. And yeah. and uh, BCL. Okay. And um, they decided to give me a chance. Yeah. And as soon as I could figure out the my way around the English language, yeah. oh, no, it was smooth sailing. Oh, yeah. So yes. now, yeah, uh, like you were able to settle in and... I was able to uh, settle in. I was able to, to learn the language, like I say... And um, even won awards as early as, I think, 73. Mm. Because, unfortunately for me, hey, you know, life can be rough sometimes. Mm. And now I'm happy I had the rough patches quite early in life. Yeah, early. Yeah. Yeah. I was diagnosed with some rare heart condition. Okay. That kept me at home mm -hmm. um, for most of second term and part of third term. Standard three. Standard three. On bed rests. Hey. Um, but when I got back, I was still allowed to sit the final exam star the standard three. Mm. And got very good grades mm. and was awarded a trophy in recognition of my exceptional comeback. Wow. I still remember the prize giving. You know, I think I suffered possibly my most humiliating moment <laughs> at the, the prize giving when my name was called out. Yeah. And my mother was seated right at the back. Yeah. And she came all the way out. Let's have a whole look. Let's have a whole And then kissed me, which was again very embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For a child at that age, yeah. I mean, For a boy child, uh, 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 mama's boy. Ah, this sissy. Ah, but uh, your uh, the, 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 um, your comeback. Ah, uh, like that's a comeback story of a lifetime that I've ever heard. Like I say, I think uh. I've had, I had, I had it rough early, yeah. and um, it's always given me a positive perspective to to life. Yeah, I mean, um. When was it? Last last year, I was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. Last year? Yes, last year. Damn. You know, for a lot of people, this is like, hey, what's the way I am? I've been very open about it. I've even said it on the floor of parliament. Is it? But Corey, I, 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 I went through this journey. Uh. And um, the reason I'm free to say it is that I want to urge as many people as possible. Yeah. Once you get over the age of 40, 50, to do regular checks. Mm. Um, I'm lucky. I was diagnosed early. Early. Yeah. early stage one. Mm. So I was able to undergo some treatment mm. that reduces the chances of the cancer growing. Mm. And at the moment, all signs are looking good. Mm. Once every three months, I take a blood test. Mm -hmm. And I think, look, it was only standard three mm. when... I still think, I still remember in the consulting room, my mother was a, was a nurse. Mm. So she had some light. Yeah. She shared a tear about my condition. Mm. And she possibly thought I was going to die early. Mm. Here I am, I'm over 50. Yeah. Advanced Chicken. age, she yeah. died before my age. Yeah. So you're telling winter you take them in your stride. Yeah. And then you it's it's a life lesson, like I say. I think it's a way in which I will give back to the public about awareness. Yeah. I mean, as it is today, I talk to many, not many, a few much older men mm. who are going through the same, and I'm able to give them my story. Mm. And they see that ah, 
I can overcome it. Mm. So yes. as for the cancer, the prostate cancer, is it still there just that it's in remission now? Kana? Well, it only means, I remember the way the, the doctor put it, ham, ham, polelela, my results. Nantari, good news and bad news. Yeah. The bad news is that there are some cancer cells in your body. Mm. The good news is that it's, it's early stage and we can manage it and keep it there. Okay. I suspect I'll always have those cells mm -hmm. in hey. my body. Yeah. But I may not necessarily ever have to um, get to the stage where I'm critical because of the cancer. Mm -hmm. hey. You know, it's just, it's just like I'm hypertension. Yeah. I get hey. Hey, I'm not even on any medication. Yeah. I'm yes. speaking of the, you know, the, like the prostate cancer. Yes. There are issues. There was, um, there was a time where, well, luckily for me, um, I get it. There was a time where like we should go check, we should mm, go mm, check. Mm. So the other time I decided to go to the clinic to go check. Mm. And then I, I was asked, what are, are there any signs? No. And then everybody like, how was signs? Just go back home. Well, like I was a kid then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. As it goes, Rena Root, Baba Tobare, who test you like in a funny way. Is it so? Like, <laughs> look, let's, let's not say in a funny way. <laughs> Um, now there was a time in the kids they would have to put a finger on your backside, yeah, to feel the size of the gland, the prostate. Yeah, um, I guess technology has improved. Mm. is just blood tests, mm. and then some signs oh. uh, out of the blood tests results and they're able to tell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Of course, after that, there are more advanced tests. Okay. Um, high super high level, but I think I can tell you more Okay. Uh, but even those advanced blood tests, um, you go into theater. It's mm -hmm. an operation. Okay. A yeah, way they, in my case, they had to cut off a piece mm. of the gland mm. and went to test it. Okay. All right. All right. Ah, this is very insightful. Very, 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 very insightful. Guys, uh, let us go test for prostate cancer. Majita, men, uh, let us go out there. Um, earlier on, you mentioned that you are the last child. Golapi. The first. Oh, you said the first. Okay, uh, how many siblings do you have? Four younger siblings and all male. Oh, 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 all boys? Yes. Okay. Well, it used to be all boys. Now it's all men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it's all men. So how was it like while I've been growing up? I mean, it sounds like the economic structure while I've been like it was a bit uh, like sort of uh, middle to upper class. Uh, was it so? Well, no, not 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 upper class, certainly. Because I, I mean, upper class, otherwise we would not have been sharing uh, bedrooms to the extent that kind mm. of five. Yeah. I get yeah. But we were privileged to have three meals a day, a roof over our head, yeah. electricity, and water. Mm. I think for me, it's a, it's a privilege I, I'd gladly acknowledge. Mm. Yeah. Because both my parents were, were working class. Yeah. Um, and by the standards, we were possibly middle class. We're certainly middle class. Yeah. Maybe let me just not be overly modest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, um still in the tail. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, a few of my friends did not have that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I um, also Pique was unique. Yeah. It's like about to get Pique was a was not a town. Mm. It was a big village, yeah. modern village. Okay. Because almost everyone knew the other person. Mm. So you were brought up by the community, yeah. in, in essence. Mm. It wasn't this cold, urban feeling. Mm. Yeah. They're going to tell your parents. Yeah. They immediately know. And mind you, we are not always a family in the public eye. My, my dad did not necessarily start as early as I did with his politics. Yeah. Initially, we were just one of the families in Pigui. Yeah. So, I think it was annoying. Yeah. Uh, for me, I was like, 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 I was
ana le ngwana o mongwe o sa utlweng eng wa o mangwe ma itse bo but when i look back i think i think it was it was good mm. to keep us on the rails yeah um so i i i count my blessings yeah definitely yeah, i'm certainly um, not complaining yes uh when did uh, your mother pass away when i was at university i think oh, i was doing then. my year my year two, yes okay yeah, when i was it was a car accident oh sorry about it yeah. ah it's so sad Well yeah but it's been many years wow. but you know a mother is a mother yeah they always have a soft spot in your heart yeah definitely but again i sometimes say to people god doesn't place a burden too heavy for you he gives you corresponding strength mm. and sometimes out of an unfortunate situation he's mm. taking you through some rite of passage yeah to help you to be a stronger person. Yeah. So at a very early age I now knew that I had the greater responsibility mm. for my younger siblings. Yeah. Who were not as lucky as I was because for me the feeling was my sister had <laughs> had a mother until I got to university. Yeah. The youngest was at primary. Aish. Yeah. Uh, so I I even still saw myself as 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 luckier than them them and therefore a greater responsibility mm. to see them through yeah and it was a form of leadership training yeah so god took away but gave me an opportunity to cut my teeth at leadership from a young age yeah yes it sounds like you are a believer well yes i've, I've like i say i came from a, a highly religious family yeah in fact I also always also say that part of my mother's dream was that maybe I could uh, end up a pastor myself. A pastor. <laughs> okay. But it didn't yeah. work out as she had planned. Yeah. I am somewhere else but I hope I'm still having the impact of winning souls. Yeah. Who was swallowed by a whale in the Bible? Hajona. Okay. <laughs> no, he knows. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he knows I wanted to check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no he knows. Um yeah, yeah it's like Pikwe is that place along what I mean everyone thinks that you are from Pikwe. You know, I learned like I was surprised to learn that okay. That other time when Mount came into the picture more and I like for some of us Barotswana go tlase like we were surprised that okay Mount. Okay. So um Pikwe is that Okay now go re pick go need to go take a stronghold is a BCP. Yes. If you le pick we want to take a stronghold is the Salesan the Salesandos. So is pick the place where you grew up your entire life? Yes, like I say we arrived there Kibala Kibala Sanitary. Yeah. And I think I was either 8 or 9 years old. Mm. Um when we arrived. Mm. Um did my entire primary there. Stabilized six of my entire. Stabilized from standard 3 to second. Can I be just one and three I had moved from Crescent yeah uh, from Rachele Lesedi primary Pikwe primary four schools yeah um so I stabilized at Pikwe but then one of the doctors following my problem with the heart condition ba ne ba belaela gore mosi wa maine me be contributing yeah we now know it wasn't mm-hmm. but then a decision was made like he had standard 7 gore ke tsengwe sekwe le khakala le pikwe so that i only go to pikwe for holidays okay. and i spend reduced time go se le pikwe so i had to pack my bags thrown into the train off to st joseph's kale oh boarding um, boarding okay. why did my form 1 to form 5 okay. from there obviously to los chaba go to pon chadibe and then university of botswana wait uh were you once a teacher go chedi yes i was like i used to work with some woman are uno mo routine like uno go ba sharp blind no sir i don't know be sharp blind was it so hey hey can you pass my apologies to this yeah to this woman you know i look back uh And, well, uh, she won't mind if I mention her name. Her name is Motalemitsi Motlhanka. You know, ga ke mo gakologe. Yeah, are are no pesa blind. Blind the blind the blind. I always look back and say I think I was 
too short tempered okay to be a teacher yeah at the time mm. given my age mm. because can get out or get hello sa di loka could it can't get simpler than the way yeah. i've explained it yeah you are like chief ghost <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> I, i i really try my best yeah. and maybe sometimes a lot of people talk to me and say the same about me today yeah I think if you look at the simplify it. I lose it a bit. Yeah. But now I'm, I'm more self I'm more self aware. Yeah. I, I try to manage. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these babulo are worse than the students I taught. Kochadi be primary school during national service. Yeah. So looking back, yeah. I, I I really concede. Yeah. Gore kanana kwa 10 to powers the the thing. Yeah. Eh. Ya no nani ki filala gore gore wanu are ke moreng. Eh. And then like I said, looking back, I think he puts the word on me. Inflicting pain. Who knows what to say? Jang. Hmm. Or what to say? Yeah. And um, that's why you'll pass my apology. I regret. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I also, it's just in me. When I do something, I, I do it with a passion. Yeah. Eh. When I was a teacher for that one year, go through lots of trouble. Hmm. I really wanted my students to be A students. Hmm. And um, kaba palelwa, I would. Also think where am I failing? Mm, mm. Eh, yeah, as a teacher, eh, I I I can't make it parallel and go to a level one. But then again, at the time, the Tashadi Belo and it was predominantly a society of uh, subsistence farmers. Mm-hmm. The exposure was not there. Yeah, and I think bringing in a a boy who grew up in Pique. Yeah, with the town, yeah. sort of exposure I had, mm. maybe I was also a bit unrealistic in my expectations. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um now now uh how are you for or against corporal punishment? No 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 I'm not Mujikoro. for co- I'm not for corporal punishment. Mm. Look, Homi Neberek uh hey like my mother loved it. So <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was a heavy fault yeah. setting and she could be even be innovative <laughs> with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean not being Being the eldest, um, she wouldn't. She now, I guess I did not happy like her born now. But she'll be innovative. For example, when we she prepare a special meal for <laughs> supper, a band table, so on. Osa le haba koroba la kona le tadi mo sa mo. And then you know I hang around. <laughs> As you was creative. Like you know, and then how can I go to the same way go kitcheni? Aksanzi ke le mo kitcheneng o tla ba tsena a ba a lotlela setswalo ka ntse setsa lotetse setswalo ngo ntse o ntse ki a ba mpalela church sheet ya me ya ka se phikwa small gore ke boleletse yana o yirile yana le yana le yana and i've decided for for this yeah um yeah how many strokes ah no wa sa be palo ha ke la khotso ha so um, but today yeah. I, i mean look i've got three children um I've never had to resort to to corporal punishment. Mm. I just find these younger ones a generation that wants to reason more. Mhm. They want to where they did wrong. Yeah. And I think my children get it when I am really not pleased mm. with their conduct. Yeah. And um they also they have a sense ya go hutsa hala gore ba they've disappointed me. Mhm. Yeah. So the 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 shame they see themselves um as having cost their parent. Mm. I think it's enough punishment and especially because you you don't see deliberate repetitive misconduct. Mm. So I'm happy with sitting them down. Yeah. Um yeah. having having undergone the Tirelo Sechaba phase. Um we have once uh, had um an interview with one of the local life coaches here yeah. um, her name is Agatha Tlolang a ro fila gore go cancel ga tirelo shaba it didn't do the nation any justice because our tirelo shaba in in no tsa gore from from tshare and then like you have to go like you have to do national service and all that 
now that it's no more you know sharp what is your take on it uh do you feel that it should be brought back kana e sharp well look the good and bad and 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 and, and bad stories around trilo sharp okay eh uh, i mean banaba ngoba senyeke se kwetrilo sharp okay um because you were too some of them were too immature you were thrown into the deep end mm. all of a sudden there's a house you are on your own ba ngoba itaolo bo simolotse ho yeah Eh, I mean, then I, I experimented a little bit more with alcohol. Oh, yeah. Can I go at the Rosa Chab? Yeah. And go to Chari, we can go to Pung, given the budget we had. Yeah. It meant you had to also settle for most to Pung. Stop talking. The hood liquor. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, like we say, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come back, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Baba we came back in the case it's about the teenage pregnancy. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was the right way to mm-hmm. do it. Now I thought I've always thought for the maybe post tertiary. Mm. In the, your gap here between employment seeking employment and um leaving your completing your school in life. Mm. And it could be an opportunity to expose you also to your native mm. um, for a reasonable fee. Yeah. Yeah. So, but whenever we do need to give back mm. because can I remember it was also about exposure. Yeah. Like I say, coming from Pikwe, I now have lifetime, lifetime family friends in in Chadibi. Yeah. yeah. I still go back mm. and visit my host family. Yeah. Um, kabana lidi odi mwezi diri lengi bantele tsa nerego le kudi se. This is what is happening. Mm. My grandmother called Matiti annually was always had a, a Telosua participant. Mm. Some of those, uh, my grandmother is no more, but when we had the Copa and the still see me as a as a brother. Yeah. So it, it broadened your network. Yeah. Um, I would have been a better teacher. Yeah. After university. Yeah. Than the teacher I was after from five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so maybe I would have given back. Mm. A little bit more value yeah. than what I really gave. Yeah. Um. You mentioned bo. Yeah. What kind of was two point two bo shiki and all that. Yeah. Now I understand. Hore. Gatte. Um. How wanna drink you? We rata more than gin. Eh. Gatte. You a gin lover. I've graduated from 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 two point gin to yeah yeah to the city gin. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Look. Of course one needs to this is a stressful job one yeah. sometimes needs to wind down yeah ziniyana yeah a short and yeah, um, occasionally maybe wind even though night uh, it's not my thing yeah, yeah. and uh, for 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 uh, okay guys let me tell you the story now um um Dumelan Salesando was a Chelsea fan and he gave up <laughs> right? I'm on a break <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to break until when? <laughs> until Chelsea sorts itself out. <laughs> <laughs> We've been uh, Manchester you... United fans since forever and we're still here. Take a break. <laughs> 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 yeah, but um yeah, I mean, of all the bad decisions that you could have made, why Chelsea? Like why add another one and support Chelsea? Well, look, actually I had a few teams I've supported. Eh? Okay. Um, London, I guess I support uh, long back Everton. Everton. When I was still at Copano Primary School. Mm-hmm. And then he really influenced yeah, the blue attire. Hella. When Ronaldo House go to primary, he was in the blue color. Yeah. So I loved Everton for mm. that. And then the other team of my first choice, like proper I want to support this team. I love their football. Menu, we know. It was Arsenal. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, it was Arsenal. <laughs> I supported Arsenal for quite a long time. Yeah. But what could what I could not get with Arsenal was that it always looked like next year will be our year. Mm. <laughs> And then <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> yeah. So I got tired of this thing. Yeah. Ya gore ga pera regisa ga kete You had a big thing for the next season. Uh, I, I just didn't understand the model. Yeah. Because now I now wanted trophies. <laughs> yeah. So when Abramovich brought over Mourinho for the first time, yeah. both Drogba. Didier Drogba. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
<laughs> I thought, oh, it's okay. Now I want a winning team. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, we are preparing for next year. Uh, so I went to Chelsea for that reason. Yeah. Uh, so I'm clear. I went to Chelsea to support a winning horse. <laughs> yeah. I'm not there for, to build. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 So like, what are your other teams uh, in Europe? Like, do you have any team in Spain? Well, I used to follow other teams in 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 Europe, but Nike gets a matataka the player. And I must say, the current coach was Manchester City. City. Pep. Pep Guardiola. Na koye nasanza. Before then, he was Bayern, yeah, and Bayern. before Bayern, he Barcelona. was with Barcelona. Yeah. I used to follow Barcelona. Okay. <laughs> um. I felt at the time Lenela is a coach. Mm. He doesn't do it that much. Yeah. His passion, mm. his level of involvement, mm. his facial demeanor. Yeah. Every time Bamonta Niki, to me he was as important as the players. Yeah. He, he was but the 12th player at the fence. Yeah. He was a 12th player. Yeah. Um I mean taking off his jacket <laughs> yeah. and rolling yeah. up his sleeves, doing yeah. everything you yeah. I just loved the man. Pep or yeah. Alex Ferguson? Uh, I think Pep. Oh, Pep. Yes. Ah. What, what, what has Pep not won? What has Ferguson not won? Well, good question. But then, <laughs> one or, uh, are, are, they, are they not maybe then at the, at the same level? Yeah, well, now they are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I get like, I think now, Figgy is about, about 10 years old. 15 That's years old. Uh, yeah, but like I've never child, supported you know. fully a yeah. team. Yeah. Uh, Pep, mm. but I've just loved him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get uh, it. I get uh, it. Uh, a coach. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah. But otherwise, Kwanu, obviously, going yeah, at Kikwe, Niki Tapotela, Nico United. Nico, yeah. I actually thought Nico was as good as the European teams. <laughs> Nico. Yes. Oh, Nico, I love my Nico. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up in Pikwe. Yeah. I mean, but remember, we are in a cup in Wukam. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember. But then, yeah. maybe you are. Uh, I think maybe do I, is that the Coca Cola or something? Yeah, yeah something Some of that. Knockout, sort. Hey, yeah. The equivalent of the FA Cup. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I think in Elukuki, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we yeah. we 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 had a good team. Mm. Yeah, no set moves, Nico. Jombies. <laughs> the, the babies that never cry. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah. now you have to be a Sangoyo Bushbag. Right? Of course, I follow them. I yeah. sometimes I go for the matches at Sangoyo Komaru. Yeah. Um, I was sad when it was relegated to the lower league. Yeah. To be honest, the economy of my womb, mm. it, it may benefit uh, quite immensely mm. from Sankoyo being in the top league. Yeah. The traffic into my womb each time Sankoyo played. Mm. Um, hotels would be fully booked. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are a tourist center, but it's mm-hmm. mainly the Delta, mm-hmm. not Mau. Mm-hmm. Right now we are just a transit to the Delta. Mm-hmm. So I miss those Saturdays yeah. when Nando's will be packed full. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I hope they'll be back. Yeah. Um, Guys, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, we're shooting this episode from Saikat Palm Hospitality, located in Block 8, Haborone, Botswana. And this episode is proudly sponsored by Kanako, uh, your best and reliable uh, equipment. And Kantekar and Chief Ghost. This podcast is proudly sponsored by Kanako, the best and most reliable commercial and equipment store or supplier. Check them out on the socials. Equipment Our fitness partner is Jack Jim through and through all the way. Honorable Lenny from here, like a single membership or a Jima. Yeah, um, Maung. Yes. Um, the other time uh, we saw you registering for elections, go quiet. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and I understand that uh, you are very in touch with Kwai. You love Kwai very much. And there's a place that you want to retire to. Do you work for the DIS? 
<laughs> or something of that sort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I first visited Kwai before getting to Parliament. Mm. And mind you, Kwai Honeyana. It's not part of Maung West that I represent. Mm. Yeah. And I fell in love with Kwai. Mm. Um, ever since Nagoya thing, I've been to Kwai every, not less than twice in a year. Mm. I drag my children there at least once a year. Um, we didn't do it this year, but on the last year. But normally, we mm. hand over clothes they will not need for the following year. Yeah. And we go to Kwai and, and distribute to the less fortunate. I guess for me this year, I guess I to do that. I got to go to Yeah, because I know who yeah. change you. Quite a new part of the constituency I want to contest in. Yeah. So I got a small piece of land and put up some shelter. Mm. Um, and like I say, I, I go there regularly. Yeah. And yes, is the place I would like to to retire to. Yeah. I guess it's a it's a place of peace. Mm. Um, the wildlife experience is amazing. I mean, I was there when Hakiro Registara, we were there for three days. Mm. Um, I mean, the lion sightings. Mm. Incredible. Actually, incredible. I actually call the wildlife in quite my fellow citizens. <laughs> yeah. we, we share an address. Uh, like that? Literally. Uh. Hey. I don't think I'm going to be able what? Don't tell me that. What really did that? <laughs> because they will be eaten up. <laughs> Lions, like dogs. Yes. Lions eat dogs. How will you say the apamol? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yes, um, it's a pity. Look, I liked quite because of its smallness, mm. but it's changing. Mm. I think as we speak today, there are over 10 lodges. In Kwai. In Kwai alone. Okay. Yeah. So it's getting congested. Mm. Uh, and I got to say, congestion. You just need to try and visit Kasana Abotza Namo Chobe National Park. Mm. I mean, I saw it recently, Kate Kile Day. How on a lion sighting? Mm. You have like over 20 cars. Did you go to 20 cars? Yes. Mm. Now, that's not the experience that Botswana is known for by the international tourists. Mm. We are able to attract the tourists who will pay more than 10,000 pula for a bed mm. because of this unique experience. Yahua mm. Robona, a sighting like I could do a few days back in Kwai. And Kiruna Hela Kana, the Kuruidi Pidikana Ditar. In places like Tanzania, mm. people don't go there because of this clutter. Mm around animals. Yeah. You lose the natural feel. Mm. around one lion. Mm, mm. But the uniqueness of Botswana gives this sense of exclusivity mm, mm. of you connecting with the animal. Yeah, with nature. That is what thing makes us a premium destination. Mm. It's not the comfort of the lodge. Mm. It, the product is heavily anchored mm. on the wilderness experience. Mm. So I think we need to be careful as a country. Mm. For as long as the money is coming into the national purse, mm. we're doing a good job. I mm -hmm. to three thousand. Mm. Now to make the ten thousand, you need four other people. The delta is a sensitive area. Mm -hmm. We can't overpopulate. Kwai is also a sensitive area. Ghana Kwai lies between. Your Chobe and your Morey. Morey game. game reserve. Yeah. Eh. So it's 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 in a unique location. It's a it's a typical exam example of this English expression here, killing the goose that lays the golden egg. Mm. Eh. So my heart is still there. Mm. My children don't <laughs> like the idea. Mm. <laughs> um, but yes, mm. retirement time and mm. it's not far. <laughs> yeah. Um, my home will be quiet. How many keys from Maum? It's less than 150 oh, okay. kilometers from Maum. Mm. 
but it's more than three hours drive oh, okay. because of the road. Uh-huh. Yeah. So how does um what is your connection with Maung? I understand that um your old man uh Regilson, uh lebo shorobe lebo like where is he really from? Uh, uh, the the from family Maung? was moving around. Yeah, but um they mainly settled around Sankul. So that was Sankul. Get him a room. Yeah. 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 Out to Amo Shorobe, the next village, Ke Kesangkuyu. Hey, I've never been there. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. From Maung, yeah. Eh, uh, you drive. How are you going, Kokwai? The first big village from Maung. Besides, I'm going to let me say your name. Bo Gabamcha. The first main one, Ke Shorobe. Mm. That's where my dad was born. Okay. And then you drive further down, on the way to Kwai. The mm. next village is Sangkuyu. Ke Kwani Kwere Chanting. Okay. How to Amo Sangkuyu? The next one is Mababe. Yeah. Another good tourism area. Depression, eh? Yes. Yeah. Mababe, are you? Depression. You're clearly there, yes. <laughs> uh, and then the next, the, the final village yeah. along the road, Ke Ke Kwai. Ke Kwai. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but um, your dad uh, decided to build a home, Kuma. Yeah. Unna Kuma. Unna Kuma. Kuma. But uh-huh. look, Sankuyo, Bunzi, you are to batting. Ba double up. Ba na kape mo ma In fact, there are days when if you visit Sankuyu, you can now tell a very few people in the village mm. because Bunzi job on every day, some funeral go, my own young one, our Sankuyu. Um, by tell a tata in me, really, only little bit, little bit, what he be doing, CD, CD, a Bunzi or not a bit, yeah. And I think that we should go shoot there, huh? like the podcast. Oh, yeah, uh, like, we, uh, I'll be more than happy, <laughs> yeah, to see how I can facilitate. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. we should go, Chief Goose, huh? fella. We should go, huh? Most definitely. So, um, now getting into politics, but mm. before then, mm. before getting into politics, you mentioned that you have uh three kids, yes, uh, Loaro, Sabo, and who else? Ramon, Ramon. Yeah, uh, two boys and one girl. And one girl, yes. Yeah. Um, how old is the Omotona? Luaro is 20. Yeah, 20. Yes. Yeah, the youngest is? The youngest is 12. 12. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. It's like, I'm going to go to my place. Yeah, we know what, like, everyone who is in the country right now. Yes. Uh, made in yes. Yeah, um, we understand that you guys met KUB. Yes, we, uh, we met at, at university. Um, I had, I had, I think I've always had a little bit more energy than is necessary for what I need to do. Yeah. So, Rebiri Simolola, some student volunteer group. Yeah, mm. but study some business related study, uh, studies. Yeah. Um, we do a small business clinic. Mm. So the volunteers would come. And we would move around Khaburoni. Kobo mm. bus ranking, ribwa, libo, masia paying. Basically to try and teach them very basic business concepts. Mm. You know, your cash flow management. Yeah. Stock control. Yeah. How do you price? Yeah. Break even point erring in their business. Mm. Yeah. So we did a lot of free counseling and consulting mm. for small businesses. Yeah. It grew. We we got an office, really the students, yeah, to manage this thing. We got sponsors. Got the holiday, we would travel as far as Bokasan. Yeah. Ivy's vehicles as sponsors, Crestas giving us accommodation, mm. and moving around and training uh the informal sector, mm. about very like I say, very basic. And we developed even the tools, yeah. the stationery that you need. Mm. Um, I, I know the business clinic was ultimately taken over by management. Mm. I'm not sure if it was a, a good idea or not, but yeah. maybe it was. Mm. During our time, that was also le- training, leadership training. Yeah. Um, organizing this group, doing proposals, mm. 
going out to Kadi holiday. So she came up as one of the volunteers. Mm. And I was the I was the coordinator and we traveled on those trips together. Mm. But um post university we continued being friends. Okay. And became better friends <laughs> and became closer friends. Yeah. <laughs> and forgot about the university life and started a new life together. Yeah. Apparently, you know, like if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it's you um who posted or oh, hey. Apparently, you know, like was it so? I I was the boss. Yeah. Hey, no, definitely. I was higher in the in the hierarchy. Yeah. Maybe the accusation should be did I use my position of privilege? Yeah. But no, I didn't. Yeah. We did not have any relation personal relationship then at the time hey. our relationship started post university yeah hey. um so i understand that going university you started um wait uh, measuring in economics and political science correct yeah um and then you okay why did you choose that course in the first place well, like, is well, it something that you always wanted gonna... no hey i didn't know what i wanted to do when i got to university uh -huh. i still remember no, ke, 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 the what is this phrase a demography <laughs> yeah yeah people are saying but nothing I'll go and study <laughs> demography <laughs> yeah yeah and we were enrolled as enumerators of the mari rebalabato ha ke tsana ko university ya no ke thalosa tswa ka demography ke utwa go tebo population ning nya ke ba dile ba thwange ka go babala ga i don't want anything to do with this so I was then also interested in economics. Mm. But then gare setse ra go tsana ko lanthane ke dira le first year degree bo public administration introduction to public administration. And I remember asking gore but why in public administration? Cuz niki botsa re ke combine economics ni. But to buy in public administration ba la ba bere ka ka. Na kwa te bo tlo ba nna ba laudi. Yeah, ba laudi eh. <laughs> My dad in Elimo Laudi, that's uh, why he ended up Kobo, hey, Sabo, yeah, yeah. I don't want that nomadic life yeah. that my dad had to live. So I'm going to drop, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop public administration. Yeah. But I still keep in economics, but I don't want it as a single major. Uh -huh. So he can combine Ali. Politics. And then political science. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um in terms of um, work. I understand that uh, for, yes, yeah, for, that was my first job with First National Bank. Banking. Yes. Uh -huh. For how long? It must have been between two and three years. Mm -hmm. And then I lost my job. Why? What happened? Oh dear, yes. Shortly. You didn't, <laughs> Shortly. You didn't investigate this one. I uh, know this one it flew over my head. <laughs> okay. I lost my job because at the time, I was based on the vehicle finance side. Okay. If you do a West Bank. Yeah. If you remember, if you know it quite well. And then there was a an election year. Yeah. There was an application by the ruling party. Yeah. For funding of vehicles landed on my desk. Uh-huh. I'm not going to give too many too much details because part of the settlement. Yeah. Uh, later in the headline Nagori. Reguduela, my dear me, can you hear Lahone? Behala, there was an application on my desk. Somehow, some information leaked. Mm. And um, I believe the, someone had to be thrown under the bus. Mm. And I, I, I had the same name that Ekarotalo said to the big bosses. Yeah, for we acted on it. Yeah. There was no kids in the quarter. Yeah. I was just a small boy doing his job. Yeah. Hey. Miaka said, yeah, that was the first job. And um, after that, I've really been just, what is it in the now, today's language? Hustling. Yeah, hustling. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no program. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, have, you have something in common with Sereza Kame Yen Kham. What is it? You guys uh, started politics, joined politics in 1990, uh, 1998, same year, right? 
And then they look on us more politicking proper. Yeah. And I had been uh, involved for quite some time. Okay. Um, but 1998, like, uh, was it the first time you held a position, like in a political party? Yes, possibly so. Yeah. Um, because I think I became active first go go BNF. Mm. Uh, ah, maybe before then. Mm. I think 1994, mm. I was reading in Namo Parliament, I was very, very active in that campaign. Okay. I was reading as a mm. volunteer. Yeah. I still remember um, one teacher of mine, Anne Thuiri, I had the heart pill how Nagwati Nila Kabaruna San two days of Vani. Yeah. Repahami Palea Mutla Kasiki fixa poster. Yeah. And I had last thing and I had clearly decided I'm not going for this lesson. Yeah. <laughs> and then she fortunately, the next lesson I went to Pilitsa Hatokwa Bualin. Now, can I give one over you? You are not regular. Yeah. Me, Akawit. Can I go on? <laughs> Can you just show us greater commitment? Yeah. And now my argument was, but I'm, I'm maintaining a balance. Yeah. You see, your class comes three times in a week. Mm. Elections come once in five years. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and I don't miss all the three in a week. Yeah, yeah. And I'm watching my marks. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was, it was good enough caution. Mm. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, when it comes to politics, most of us, uh, we... Um, like you mentioned earlier, the, uh, the Salisandro name, um, it was uh, made legendary by your dad. Yes. You know, um, I would like to believe that um, he influenced you in a way to be a politician that you are to He may not have deliberately um, hatched a plan to get me into politics. Mm. But obviously growing in a household, yale politik. Mm. It, you may be you are likely to be attracted to it. How mm. yeah. had he maintained the path, there's a high chance. Mm. Yeah. So your parent doesn't need to say go this route. Mm. Just being there to involved in that role mm. plays a role. Mm. So yes, there was some influence. But to be honest with you, I actually tried to hide it from him mm. when I was involved. I remember the first time we had a discussion around it um, was when he found out <clears throat> that we were part of the BNF Youth League. They mm. invited to South Africa to attend the first conference of the ANC Youth League in South Africa. And we we arrested for a traffic offense mm. and got into trouble. Mm. And um, part of our delegation was held overnight in a police cell. Mm. And I had to drive back to Raburoni. Guess my license. <laughs> yeah. But at least it's not a Oh. But at least it's not a good thing. Yeah. But at least it's not a good thing. Yeah. But at least Then the news spread in the party. Mm. A uh, banana bangu ba party, baba nembaru milo ko Africa boroba ni le matata ka ko ba chweiri, and my dad got to know <laughs> I was one of them. Yeah. Ele lan thau ko hori. I am active. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't think he was necessarily very happy. Uh. He, you'll be surprised. Mm. I mean, look, I don't wish politics for my son, and it's a discussion we've had. Why? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> if my father had set me down and cautioned me, I think I would have chosen a different path. Tell us about it. Why? Like, what's up with politics? <laughs> they always say that it's a dirty job, is it? Like, is it a dirty job? Uh, it's it's very dirty. Uh. There's a lot of unreasonableness. Mm. You know, a lot of the time, go parliament, when I go all out to say, here, I agree with you. Mm. Mm. I, I genuinely mean it. Mm. Mm. And when I say, here, I don't agree with you. Mm. I genuinely mean it. Yeah. But bone ba tatswa la konti wa bar ah ne re tare ne re tatswa ga tiregane. Mm. Wa bona. Mm. Do you re your your best efforts are not having the impact they should have. Mm. Because of petty considerations. Yeah. Ya gore a regane. A regane nka na ke dumelang 
e ba thoto ga ba simolla go mutla botoka ga re ka dumela mm re tata rona re boana kong re tisa mogopolo ate yeah e that is that that drains you mm e ha ne re ka dumela na rote gore let's agree we are in it for the national good mm this country will be much much better mm e there will always be differences mm. based on your value system ya politiki mm i identify with polit- with the, the politics that seeks to empower the less privileged mm. i don't believe in the so called free hand of the markets mm. that allow market forces look there are bdp members by ke dume lang gore genuinely ke ba thoba market forces mm. and for, f- from time to time we will differ on orientation gore na ke na le tumelo e sele which is not capitalism mm bona ba dumela thata mo the capital system no na le tsinyo tsene re ka dumela na ka tsone which is not about political orientation mm. which is about common sense mm. eh which is about common sense mm. i mean ke hore le go mpieno hela why why should i have to argue until my voice goes hoarse go kopa gore ka ndike ndi tala marisa ba le lwa go tlhopiwa ndi Mm. It just defies logic. Mm. But you have senior ministers yeah. standing up one after the other. Yeah. <laughs> Respectable people with intellect. Mm. Some of them with PhDs. I am Larry Nakahan. Like my dear friend Dr. Kwapi. Yeah. Aba tsanika ka mahoko a setswana, a tsanika ka mahoko a setswana, a ra ke ke ga khona ha. And you walk out and say then they say to you kana me gona o bolela ru o la o na o le tu yeah i uh, so i i sometimes feel that i could have given the country more mm. outside politics where mm. rationality reigns supreme given a chance like if we could roll back the years or to choose us i wouldn't choose politics is it yeah i wouldn't choose politics but i'm stuck with it mm. yeah like that's how bad it is Quite like you won't choose it again i wouldn't choose Give it, it again mm. yeah. and like i say i'm very clear to my children i hope you guys stay away from from this try other things when i had a single little really ke in your latter years nagana i went in very early yeah. yeah and you were once um SRC president right no 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 i contested SRC contested. presidency and did not win oh you did not win yeah. okay like so who did you to it by that time huh? um who beat you to it justice g ke tlogetswe oh okay eh the re me re tlikena na win um i was his opponent um so yeah maybe the buck was already there mm. and i was already beaten <laughs> at university <laughs> yeah <laughs> i um it's it's, it's yeah. yeah but i'm i'm in it and I, i i want to give it my best yeah never mind the 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 downside And then of course when the party you are always having this thing so mm. defection um where just people just feel ronari ditsala and it's across political parties mm, mm. and sometimes people just disagree with you mm. again now outside from the national now at a party level mm. I disagree with you just because mo go bone go dumalana le dumelang a go tlhoka hat yeah um we will get to that let us start it here It is quite surprising when someone would come to me and then say that Kana Regilson Salishando wasn't the founding president of BCP. Yes, the founding president was Michael Kitsudingaki. Mm. Okay, then the first president. Quite surprising. Because like everyone has this knowledge or right fella like who's the like who like who's the first president of BCP? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the longest serving. <laughs> eh. Michael But, Dinyake, Michael Dinyake did one term. Oh, one term. Eh. Oh, eh. yeah, like it was short. Yes. And then uh-huh. the second president by the way was uh-huh. not even Gilson Salishan. Yeah, I know. It was Otla Adisa Kosalit. How long? I think Lenny did one term. One term. Yes. Term or a year or uh, and then five, then uh, it 3 years. 3 years. Kumpe ndiri le 5 years. Yeah, okay. But it did 3 years. Yeah. After after Otla Adisa Kosalit then came Gilson Salishan. Okay. E. And Elene, I think he voluntarily did one term. Mike Dingake said I've done my part mm. after one term. 
Uh, well, Rick was a little lost mm. now, but the second term he lost to Gilson Salashando. Mm. Gilson Salashando, after his one term, Lenny said, I've done my part. That's when you that's like, when I yeah, came in, it. yes. Uh huh. Like, how did um, BCP uh, Pico become a stronghold at BCP? Like, was it because of Gilson? It was because of Gilson Salashando. Okay, um, remember, he came in first as Mopalamento Pico under BNF, yeah, yes, when he first won, mm. it was in 1994. It was under BNF. Mm. And he had contested a few times. And he got some margin. He got a huge margin. Yeah. But kept building it until I think the year before, the election before he won, he got a margin of about 13 or 15, somewhere there. People? Yes. So I was saying, less than 20. Yeah, no. like a vote. No, 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 <laughs> less than 20. Uh. But then the next election, mm. when he won, he literally swept the floor mm. with the mopped the floor with BDP. Corona mm. Winale, all the council seats. Mm. Pique then became the stronghold mm. for the BNF. Mm. And then when the BNF split mm. about uh, IBCP, he was able to I think he had he had he had built trust amongst the people of Slibi Pique. Mm. They trusted his politics. Mm. So a lot of people in Pique identified with the BCP mm. for that reason. Yeah, for that reason. Yeah. For clarity's sake, BCP has a party of Gilson Salishan. Yeah, has a party of Gilson Salishan. Okay. Quite surprising, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> Quite surprising. Yeah. And then, yeah, um, what caused the, like, the split, yeah, BCP from BNF? Like, in El Kanye defection, kind of like, there was something... There's a fundamental um, conflict mm around how the party should be managed. Mm. Same issues we are having today. Ronara Sabah, Dwa Sosi, Dayanunli, Liudis. BNF had been in Ali. In fact, I think one member at the time, Una Ibuari, BNF ki koma, koma ki BNF. Governance. Decisions were taken by one person. Mm-hmm. You then and I, and I, you can understand. Reko Oma had been there for a long time. He had fought for the party. Baba mm. Mbale um, modernized. Can I know one conflict even over small things like a party in the office? Baba Mbale feel like we're a bar. Bar we're panel office here party. Kora kora banta party kore la pen laka koma. Pen lo koko pan lo kore la pen laka koma. Kore la pen laka koma. So when we are talking about the fact of course, when we are talking about the fact that we are not party to do that thing, because we are not going to adopt a policy paper, any mm. bit social democratic program, the SDP. But when we are talking about the SDP, is a dilution of the BNF core principles. It's a scumanis. Because it is a ikiti yagnoleja. Free enterprise. Mm. So some genuinely had fears mm. that the party is being diluted in terms of its values, mm-hmm. and ultimately the split. Yeah. Eh. Mm. Can tell like this word just come and it's okay. Like it sounds like it comes from the name Koma. No. <laughs> <laughs> from from communism. Oh, communism. Eh, so from, from communism. <laughs> okay. So, eh, eh. Yeah. Um. And then uh, when uh, you are uh, um Dumelan Salishando, you are known to be. I'm a very partial politician, like which is very unpopular. Like why partial in what sense? I mean, like you said earlier, like that's like there are things that you would come out and say, you know, Hana Girmal Nali BDP. Kana Hana Girmal Nali BDP. Like there was a strike I, I remember years back, some teacher. And uh, like obviously like the government was against the strike and Girmal Law and you are against the strike. I felt it could have been avoided. Exactly. Yes, but yeah. I also felt that ultimately it had to come because the doors were closed. Yes. You being like a partial politician, like it led to this thing, you know, you know, you know, you know, BDP, stuff like that. You know? I think that one it's, has more to do with people who are into politics of mud slinging. Mm-hmm. It's got nothing to do with my style of politics. Okay. Um... They throw mud at you. Yeah. And that is the mud they have thrown. Uh. You'd remember I'm getting the tender at BDF police. Yeah. 
ke be ke botsa potso go parliament gore go disclose we all the companies mm tse di bone di tender tsa BDF le police i think i had said for a period of like 20 years mm and my name was not there mm or any company mm but you know there were audio clips circulating tsa batho ba patse di botsa khane tso ba re a re tlhoko molo se mosupi jo bodileng bo a re gatelelang gore le ga re sena bosupi me go ntse jalo in fact motho a te na le blunt na ra re mo akele um and the truth is i don't have any business that i do with government remember the time that rato tedi a go dia publicize wa mo di website tsa ga go romenta tsa bo ppd bi ne re tsa ri bona ko tata hela gone mme do you believe gore ha ne le re ke na le tender tong re ga ne ka se ka bona opportunity ya go ya go to disgrace me why would they keep quiet banal information you minna ke dir sa information ni about them on tenders mm. who has made the most noise about the masisi family winning government tenders that's you ever since he got to government it's me yeah why wouldn't they return the favor ha ne lo rona le sim it's because there's nothing mm. hey there's nothing so you're still saying that you are not in bed with government mm, not at all but na but na ga ke tla buiki di thong ha e leng gore bdp di le sengwe se ke tsang gore tsisiami go bua in the same way ke ntseke se mo udc ga ba di le sengwe se ke tsang gore tsisiami i say so recently when they were in court with the iec i said is the right thing to do to demand transparency around votes does that make me less of a genuine politician no such is life sometimes the people you disagree with will do something that is good for the country yeah and now we'll always do that mm. back to business now some would say that okay it's not him who's in business with hat like yeah who's in bed with the government mm. but his wife dino salishando is in bed with the government is it so in fact bane bare company we let's be let's just go to the main point yeah there was a company in ruti dinesh mm. in fact bane bare ke dineo salishan yeah but later evidence emerged mm. hori dinesh is an indian owned company mm based in silibi pigwe mm. i remember ibile ke bona nakong go latolwa monga kampani mm. nothing to do with the nosalishan mm. so yes again and this is what can annoy you with politics mm. people will even go to the extent of targeting your family members who are not in politics ga ba palwa ba ba hello ke mabaka against you but tsenya go ra reano let's target the wife mm. without evidence mm ane o le te mo subiwa te ka wa bontsitsi mm but you know they will breathe life into this lie mm. repeat it mm sometimes you repeat a lie so many times mm ba go mela ba idumela mm that is the plan it's yeah. it's all dirty politics mm. and here i must say it's not even about the bdp mm. it's about our colleagues in the opposition mm. thinking that gare ka akela mosadi wa gagwe mo nna go tang khela batho Mm-hmm. and people will not focus on the message but la nare the suspicion but a belaela gore go ngwe go bolelwa ruri mme itse gore ba no nyepa ba no nyepa ma ga teng a re mbo tate ka ba no nyepa ma isana e sa sa ba isana ba re ba yeah um so like you still saying that you're not in bed with government in terms of business anyhow anyway No not at all like your business is pele go romente and not look, even tenders say there is absolutely no truth mm. in this allegation mm. there is absolutely no truth it's mad slinging mm. it's dirty politics hai khona ka tsatsi and in fact i've said this before mm. bring one tender mm. either rejected or ga ke winner kana ke ke win one e supang gore ga ke abua bua maru i will resign my seat mm. You will resign your I've seat. I've said that publicly and I'm repeating it. I Again. will resign my seat. Mm. Just one. Ya gore ona tender me as ka atle. Ka ona tender a atle. He doesn't need the results do not matter. For mm. me he submitted a tender. One. Mm. But what about this allegation? Mm. Can't come with one. Mm. But they are saying there are hundreds. Mm. Is it possible? <laughs> it's not possible. I doubt. It yeah. doesn't it doesn't it doesn't add up. Yeah. I mean when I talk about the president's tenders, mm. I read out the tender numbers on the floor of parliament. Yeah. 
But when I, you are a staunch businessman, right? Like you are a businessman. I wouldn't call myself a business, a staunch businessman. Yeah. But remember, like I said, mm. I've always been doing some side hustles. Yeah. So yes, I've started companies mm. to make a livelihood. Mm. So I have not been, I wouldn't call myself a very su a successful businessman. Mm. But I would always make enough to ensure that my children get three meals a day, mm. are able to go to this school that I desire for them. For them. Yeah. yeah. Um, you are like, ha I research, Hela, like, um, I've tried to do like a thorough research on this. You come up as one member of parliament who represented two different constituencies. Yes. Like, are you, like, are you the only one and like, are you the no, first to do that? Can no, I I'm, I'm not the only one. Oh. I certainly remember a few. I see. A, on Kilaran Nale, Mupalamen Doro to Pita Moose, Rahwe the current Kariso Moose. Okay. A Rahwe Kariso Moose, a Mupalamen to In a Kinana Vice President, in a Mupalamen to Akabron South. And he lost his seat to Kenneth Koma. A Baron Namu Parliament, the Wako Tamar. Oh, okay. A Has Nahulusa, a Bawinak. Okay. Hona Lubaba, and what happened, at least I know at least him and. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. He was never a member of... He contested in Khaburun yeah. and lost. Yeah. But of course... Um, yeah, at least I know Rem Re, Re Mousse. Oh, okay. I, I may be the second. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know Rem Mousse. I know Rem Mousse. I know Rem Mousse. Yeah. Um, you losing Gaborone Central in 2014, mm. it came as a shock, huh? Yes, it did. It came I as a shock. I always say it, I didn't see it yeah. coming. There and, were no um, indicators that you would lose that seat, huh? There were some indicators. Uh. And I think, like, let's be frank. Mm. The key reason that decided that race mm. was the unfortunate death of Homo Limo mm. It changed the landscape. Mm. Um, there were high... There were, uh, what is the word that I'm looking for? Conspiracy theories. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm, yeah, 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 like over his death. And yeah, over his death. And all that, yeah. Now, death, it's just about one. Mm. An assassination mm. is not something we are used to. Because mm. no, Rotu has been assassinated. I, get, mm. eh. I remember... The then, well, still the leader of the party, Yagawa Buagori, Baro Batla, the satellite images, mm. in they are clear he has been killed. Yeah. I also remember talking to one member of his party, Mbola Lagori, Bato Bona, Serepako, Moshare, Mohua Bona, or Nore, Muaka Celeb. So these were the stories that were being peddled. Mm. I get it. Mm. Some even went further mm. to suggest that. I may have known. Yeah, vindicating you. And part of, I may have been part of, yeah. of this. Yeah. So there was a lot of anger against me. Yeah. Did I play any role? Mm. In I get it. Oh, oh, kind of like, you were even booed at his funeral. Right? I was even booed at yeah. his funeral. Mm. A, people saw me as part of a cabal that killed. Mm. But you know, today, th those who were saying all these stories, mm. like, okay, they know they've teamed up with the person on the Barobola Ile Oh, <laughs> yeah, ne? Teamed up. <laughs> yeah, ne? They've teamed up with yeah. the so called murderer. Yeah, yeah. And then they want Batswana now to punish me again. Hmm. murderer. Mm. they are saying this is not me. This is them. Mm. They are saying we are now with the murderer. Let's punish Dumelan because he's now refusing to be with the medal. Hmm. That's why sometimes politics can make you ask yourself, like, why did I why choose? Did I? Yeah. Mm. I will die for this man. And mm. slow down. Okay, Lord Dooms, tell us now. I mean, there are people who are still hopeful that 
BCP. Okay, like Kyung Ara di like 2024. Yes. There are some people who are still hopeful that the BCP would be part of the UDC going into the elections. <coughs> and there yes. are some who say, you know, it's done, it's done. You as the BCP president, what are you saying? And I said this earlier today at a press conference. Mm. Let's the UDC just wins. I guess. Join the hell win the hell. Does it win? <laughs> Let me give you an example. Mm. Do you know MPs Baba win in UDC in 2014? More than 10. Mm. None of them won in 2019. You mean 2014? Kaba winning 2014. None of them won 2019. All of them lost. Okay. 2019. Mm. Yeah. I get. Mm. Kasi president. DGB, yeah? Duma Bo, I get. Eh. Yeah. Witsi man kape wen. But 2019. Eh. Yeah. Kaba winning 2014. Kaba winning 2014. Yeah, kana like in the south, I get most of them. Yeah, most of them lost. Both they were yeah. they were wiped out. Yeah, yeah. All true. I get. True. Yeah. You know how they remove one name? Hmm. I get your name, name is Suki Reboko. Hmm. In 2014, we had over 7,000. We had over 3,000. We had over 7,000. We had over 4,000. We had over 4,000. It shows you that Botswana did not... They had issues with this party and its leadership. Mm. I get it. That's the message that I'm telling you. Mm. We have issues with this party and its leadership. So Botswana is saying, we are going to win, we are going to win. There's evidence mm. that says not so. Mm. And the question is, mm. I have been there. Mm. I can confidently say, I think I know the reasons. Mm. How do you have a party that runs for more than 10 years? It's in a leadership elections. Mm. Do you know any other in the world? Mm -mm. No, I don't. Like, unless maybe... So before. that's a red flag, I get. Yeah. That's a red flag. How do you have a party that just announces is super or democracy? If you do umbrella for democratic change, mm. but you are not taking care of any little any democratic change. Mm. I get why it's a my parliament that's in in 2019. Mm. But when you have a challenge, you go to primary. So you are not candidate. Mm. No chance of democratic change. Mm. If we are now the most happy, you are unhappy with the MP. Tough. Mm. Really, you deserve it. What day? Mm. How, how some matter? Mm. Okay, go mm. So, this democratic space in that organization is so limited mm. and it's declining continuously. Mm. Very uns. And then, Le Rumpian, one hour, we are how many months to elections? How is it about the date again? But the elections are normally in October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually but more January. Yeah. So we are less than nine months to elections. Mm. You decide the candidates at the Ngiboma. Do I want to subject myself to that disorganization? Mm. No, I get responsibility candidates. Mm. Even if we say that we are super for manifesto issues, it's a belly. We tell you decide now. We will have manifesto on your own no, not yet. We can't just throw the country mm. into this black box, mm. into this black hole. Mm. We tried to reform it. Rebono is not possible mm. to reform it. Mm. It's deeply entrenched in misgovernance. Mm. And the manner in which it misgoverns itself it will be irresponsible of us mm. to play a role to get it into government. Mm. Mm. Because I think I am for a responsible transition mm. politically from the BDP mm. to a new establishment. Mm. Not necessarily to just come with a scam. Mm. This thing can work. We told I get a bit. So, Baba Nemba, can you order it? Abuela go UDC. Mm. Yeah. We have served divorce papers mm. because Ilo on the UDC, it was punishing us for calling for more democracy. Mm. 
Mm. I was suspended mm. by the UDC leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mona to a moment to not to keep work on the top. Yeah, no bad ring. Reboer tail between our legs and say, okay, but Christian was not the top of Mong. I mean, Rebolello or sentence, I don't make a book. No. <laughs> I yeah. didn't join politics uh, <laughs> yeah. to throw the country into a crisis I can see. Yeah, so Lord Dooms, one would wonder, what, I get it in 2019, mm. like you were under the umbrella. Yes. You were under UDC. Yes. One would wonder, what, these are red flags that you are mentioning now. Need to show 2019. Did it day. Okay. Did it day me, like I said, we tried to reform. Mm. And that is why in 2018, mm. UDC had its first conference. In 2018. 18. We mm. pushed for it. Mm. Conference adopted a new constitution. Mm. Yeah, UDC. Mm. After the 2019 general elections, the UDC will have a congress to elect a leadership. Mm. So there was a, a contract. Mm. I don't know. You yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. So now I would rather die on my two legs fighting for democracy. So you're saying that there's no democracy within there the isn't. UDC? There isn't. Mm. You, 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 um, you, uh, BCP wasn't part of the umbrella in 2014. Yes, it wasn't. And then even a part of the umbrella in 2019. Yes, it was. Going into 2024 elections is not part of the umbrella again. 2024, mm. we are on our own. Mm. Like, the Once, reasons start 2014 in Ailing. The reasons start 2014 was that we there was no agreement. Hela could hela gore how do we work together? Mm -hmm. In to Malan. Hela gore how do we divide constituencies? I mean, I can give you an example. In mm. 2014, one of the key issues was that mm. 2014. Mm. Our partners felt strongly. Hore. Rachel, we are weak. Mm. What was the evidence? BCP won Ramutso without assistance of any opposition party. Mm. So in a number of ways, we were right about the demands. We were not unreasonable. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but you know a system, that is not sustainable. We mm. could do it as a start. Mm. But you've got to allow democracy to reign supreme mm. at some point. Mm. But you DC like it says they'll possibly reach 20, 30 years mm. without a congress. There are rumors that um part of constitution are yeah, UDC. Apparently, like the president has to be coming from the BNF. No, that's not true. It's just a rumor. Oh, it's just a rumor. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I and again it's peddled by by Fever. Oh, okay. oh. Leon, the BNF president mm. has said. The BNF is the natural leader of the UDC. Kuri BNF mohoyoni, but President of the UDC, kuchwa na lingwa na akosi, kuchwa na chukisi tulosi. How do you have that in a democracy? But it's not part of a constitution. It's not part party. of the constitution. Mm -hmm. But you can see kuri the desire mm. is to build values mm. that are anti-democratic, mm. and then you say you are for democratic change. Mm. You are not. Mm. So, yeah. um, part of the democracy that you were pushing for, uh, like that the BCP was pushing for, was that um, how contest the law with the law and the law contest the law Not necessarily me. Anyone. Yeah, UDC, anyone. Let's open it to everyone. Mm. Let everyone put up their hand. Now <laughs> I want to be Secretary General. Yeah. Now I want to be Treasurer. Now I want to be Vice President. Now I want to be Chairman. Now I want to be President. Yeah. yeah and how do you look at the law? Now that's the system I believe in. Yeah, because like some were saying that when now in particular mm. you are unhappy because you wanted to be president. No, 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 no. Mm. I did not want to be installed as a president, mm. but I wanted a system of free competition. Mm. That's democracy. Mm. Hey, I can't say so about the Miami, can say so about the democracy. Nine party, a leader is not elected. Mm. Not because I want to, but because I believe I want to contest. Mm. But because I believe, even if I don't want to contest, mm. I must still have that right. Mm. 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 
ile ba nte ba yana bo bona ikiti ke ba tagotsoma bo tautuna me bo tautuna go go bone ke endangered species bo tsona go na le pologolo tsa go tweng endangered species ga di tsumiwe mm ya ho di tsoma wa wa seka mm so le bo tautuna ja yudi sika gore ke endangered species bo protective ile ba nte ba yana bo bona ikiti ke ba tago botsoma ebe nna mola so ga ke nne hatse i will not sit around in organizations that have that tendency mm yeah How is your relationship with uh Duma Boko now? Um we don't have any relationship. Mm. Yeah. He mm. he's there he running his UDC mm. in the manner he sees fit. Mm. Then I'm out bandaging the Botswana Congress Party mm. in the values we have agreed upon mm. Botswana Congress Party. What about before like the timing in Lelemo like from a distance one would say okay yeah uh Duma lang and Duma pretty close bile le maina bona tswana dumela le Well I tried my best yeah. yeah I tried my best to normalize an abnormal arrangement mm. yeah. and I wasn't the first to see that this is an abnormal arrangement because mm. remember before ke gona deputy ya gagwe go no gona le ba bangwe ba khaogane le bone go se monate le go BNF how many vice presidents has he had uh, I think quite a few yeah and na gona go go khaogane go se monate ke Yeah no true. Hey, the last hey, one like was already bare la. Yeah. What's a mail or some monat? Mm. Bo re ma bile tsa ba ke le bana diverse tsa gagwe ba tsa mail or some monat. I was trying to make a normal situation. Mm. I even prayed. Ask the almighty at his launch. Yeah, you did pray for him on Monday. Fell on my yeah. knees. <laughs> the almighty did not answer my prayers. Yeah. Ya ke bona le nna gore. Let it be. Mm. Hey, and I walked. Um one thing that comes with this thing dooms um with this BCP and Nakwa UDC and Nakwa, mm. um as much as Rokatwe that one I don't know but like Tlatla go on as much as Rokatwe um rigging like elections are rigged there's this other factor in or it's there but people choose to not to mention it vote splitting yes obviously like you being there UDC being there like it comes with vote splitting mm. Definitely. So mm. like are you not worried about that? Hey, but you know what? Mm. Um it's it's a decision of the voter. Eh. Na ke tlhalo ga di gore go tswa gore ba tswana ga di party di nna 3 di ka ba confuse. Mm. Ma hatsa ma ngwana di party di heta 10. Mm. I mean you take what happened go Malawi. Mm. There are 10 opposition parties. Mm. People queued up and voted in an opposition party. Mm. Out of the 10. Mm. You go to Zambia there were about 15 or 20 mm. candidates. People queued up and said you want that one wa opposition. Mm. You go to Lesotho. There were what? About 60 mm. parties. 60? Yes. Hey man. People queued up. Basotho le bona ba population ya rona. Ah. They had a voters roll in Ikete daily news. O bula di page ya no o batla party ya gago. Ah. But they voted an opposition one. Mm. The same population as us. They're just they're less than 3 million. Mm. They don't feel for 60 parties is a crowd. Rona kwa nara 3 is a crowd. Eh kwa ta khauka na kha a a kidu malane. Na kidu mela gore ba tswana tsa tsile ba tsere ntshetso. They will make up their minds. Mm. A quite a number of them mm. are still voting BDP. Mm. Gare re vote splitting ga pere ra gore ra ya voida. Re be ra go tswaragana le ba ileng gore ga re dumalane ka tsamaiso. Will that concoction form a stable government? I doubt. It won't. Yeah. Yeah, it won't. Mm. So we overplay this thing of vote splitting. Mm. In fact, not long ago, IEC in a engaged its democracy research project ya ko UB mm. to do a study. Mm kotata se se tshenya mba tswana king about voting mm ha ba bua gore mathata bone gore party di dimts in that study mm. one of the key reasons they gave ke gore they are not happy with the quality of the candidates mm mm-hmm. so lenga loka e group a lole opposition mm. like we grouped ourselves in 2019 mm. but tobi bona ba dumela gore this candidate is the wrong one you lose mm. you lose mm. the same way we lost constituency ya gare reboko mm ena e winle ka batho ba le 7000 more than 7000 re be re ra ikoketsa re group re le bantsi re khobokana gone ho mm batho ba bo ba tsoba tsa ma mm ba bua gore ye candidate ga re ba 
So I'm happy that today we are able to focus on presenting strong candidates as the BCP. Mm. And we've come before every other party. Mm. Mm. It doesn't work. Yeah. 2019 showed us it doesn't work. Mm. And then there's this issue, Red uh, Melan Salishando. I mean, um, we've seen your... Um, I'm not too sure if he's a protégé, but to most of us, like, he comes off as your protégé. Um, uh, the current leader of opposition, Adi Tapoloko Rapid, yeah, uh, like, we've had him on the podcast as well. Um, he chose to, um, like, to pick uh, a side, yeah, UDC. Mm. Like, whenever you guys had the, mm. yeah, this and that. Yes. And he was even expelled from the party, right? Yes. And Abu Aure and Udumela into the UDC yes. um, formation and all that. Yes. Um, what is your take in him living? Because to most of us, like... We are so surprised that, okay, uh, I'm like, it's quite surprising that um, he didn't stick with you. I mean, looking at the fact that you guys come from afar. So, like, you'd like to assume that you guys share similar principles and all mm -hmm. that. So, um, how was it like when he chose the other side and what did it tell you? Ah, fortunately, I am a reader of the Bible. Mm. Jesus was also shocked when one of his protégés <laughs> called Judas Iscariot, <laughs> a trusted fellow. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, some say he was also responsible nearly treasure Ranyanaya, the disciples. Mm. Nearly, nearly, Judas? Yes. Is it? Yes. Una in the hierarchy. Judas? Yes. Heaven. Judas okay. was a trusted man. Yeah. But he chose the other side. Yeah. I'm not Jesus. Mm. I mean, if Jesus is ditched and his life not only risked, mm. but clearly taken away. Mm. I can only be happy that another betrayal was not to the extent that I would lose my life. Me, once you move to you, you, it's a lesson. Mm. A. In fact, I think who killed the one leader of opposition go South Africa got to Tony Leon. One of them on now, one of them on now, but since that's a lot of people, Peter Leon. Mm. Peter Leon once said in politics, your opponent sits across. Mm. But your enemy sits behind you. Mm. Some of those little party who were behind me nearly type of what I You get shocked, mm. but you stand up quickly mm. and regroup mm. and work your way up again. Fortunately, it's Libby Piqui. Mm. As we were saying earlier, it's a stronghold of the BCP. <laughs> yeah. I am confident. I, like you're confident that... <laughs> I'm confident that the voters will stamp our authority the same way they did. Yeah. Koka Vanguka 2019. Yeah. Remember Neretense Bakalatia Aron? Yeah. Through the BCP. Yeah. Abasimula Abonagori Botsilo Botoka on the other side. Yeah. But then Bonan Libon, Boban Nabailitsa, Tidi Witsabi Bonankago. Yeah. The voters always come back yeah. to make their statement. So I am sure, yeah. I am as certain mm. as I am that the sun tomorrow will rise from the east and set in the west. Yeah. The sun in Pukwe West will rise on the side of the BCP at the general election. Hey, man. So like after, um, after that time that he like uh, he went to yeah like he chose UDC over BCP yeah. and then I guess what I, like soon after I don't know if was it really you gonna give BCP like a barwira like a certain uh put a rock peak mm. yeah and then like I saw someone in the comment section I uh, were you know uh BCP is making sure that uh Dithapel is going back to the lecture room like are you really taking him back to the lecture room 2024 elections I'm certain about one thing. We are taking him out as an MP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's an important lesson. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, they need to teach him a lesson. Yagori, how parami kabatu. A boy ponake to go dimu, a wobata bakataka kadina. We pon only be better and bigger than the organization. How would you reach Alumo with Silo? There's a decent way in which you can choose to say to people, I no longer want to associate with you. Mm. Not when they have built you. Mm. They've given you a rare privilege to serve as a member of parliament. Mm. Mm. You know, you didn't see any redefeat in 2014. Mm. But you know, you know, you know, BCP, you know, you BCP. I will pull out it's because I am great. Mm. I'm the great one. Mm. I can tell them what you can get lost mm. with this BCP of yours. Nayanung, I'm something better mm. called UDC. Mm. I will be going to Pique together with other members of the BCP mm. to ask our members to do the right thing. Mm. Not only should we win, but we also need to pass a lesson mm. to all young politicians. Mm. In any organization. How can go? This thing is simple. You just go to one hell of a little player, Ryan Niku. Niku, be who release our way with Sanigal and National Team. I will wear like you go talk at Telago de Murna and Hakimun Niku Kimun National Team. Niku, you mean National Team. Wait, Niku and Zillo Niku is him. Yanon Ottawa Quella Matewari, when I call one Musio Mayno over National Team. Yeah, such people need to be taught a lesson quickly, mm. and we will do that. Is he like? Is he indeed your protege? Like how you uh, we think? Well, look, I played a big role in getting him to be where he is. Oh, okay. He, there was even a time where it seemed they would asanza asa lina la wale sa apie rokope mu politiki. Yeah, ekineng. I think it was the twin. 2009 elections, mm. hell. Yeah. BDP was divided. Can I go and go to the formula? BMD. Um, Kaho Roka and Nabo Mambo specially elected. And I tried behind the scenes, even had meetings with him to say, I'm going to push to present your name as a specially elected member of parliament. Habidipi mm. Kakawan, Lord Narat Senya Mina, be ready to go to the Laha. So, yes, we. I did bend backwards mm. to make sure, like I say, he lands where he is. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's understood that uh, you guys even had a great personal relationship, and apparently, um, even your uh, your wives were good friends as well. That is true. Yeah. How is the relationship now? No, actually? we don't have a relationship at all. I I think if if someone is happy to stab you in the back, our head little tipe o kapi mo mukating yagaro. Um, over one thing, you tend to be careful mm. not to give them your back for the second time. Mm. I guess the quas are once bitten, twice shy. Twice shy. Yeah. So we've been bitten. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, hey, we her, my chief goes to our boy, I came money because of the lights. Yeah. No? Oh, okay. Like what? Like, I came money simply because of the lights. What? Yeah. Like, you'll make some noise. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Lord Dooms, <laughs> there's a, like, you were recorded at a rally. <laughs> yes. You were recorded at a rally. Yes. You were recorded at a rally. Yes. You were recorded at a rally. You were <laughs> so you know, like earlier on, we were of like of camera. You know, like you have those shots that you always, you know, um, pull on people and all that. Like, is it how, like, take a hunting cat thing? Yeah, like from like from. Or like, go moto. We are going to shoot. Or like, tap on the phone. Are you going to be shot? Or are you going to be shot? I kid, but I would say. What is the word? Do they call it the gift of the? I forget the word. Yeah. Um, but when we kiri na le one talent ya kudiri samaho. Kuna na politiki ya kile ba na le one even better than me. Yeah. Um, the likes of Paul Rantau. Yeah. Um, mastering the use of both English 
and Setswana for Talosadilo Katsela Emotaka at Talokanya Mutuk. Of course, when I use that phrase, Nikisa Ringilika wanna come out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It but, was a figure but, but, but we all know how yeah. he feels. Yeah. <laughs> how he feels robbed. Yeah. How he feels he has been reduced to a fool mm. by someone he built. Yeah. Um, Is it like you and like you and Dita Poligo Rapids? Well, <laughs> and then the nigga is gone. I'm, like. I'm on a countdown. Yeah. And then he exits the stage. Yeah. And I can rejoice the way I did when mm. we won Okavango. Yeah. And look. Maybe there's a and I get a bang on my get a woman now. Can I live on a book? Of course, I may. I'm not a I'm not a vengeful guy, I don't go mm. after you, yeah. But there are certain things where I think you've crossed the line and mm. we need to do everything possible, yeah, to teach you a lesson. Mm. So, with less than 24 hours to go to the last election, start 2019, mm. I wasn't in my constituency, mm. I was really? in Okavango. <laughs> yeah, go bagalati. Go bagalati. Yeah. yeah, because I th I felt it's important uh -huh. uh, to make the point strongly. Yeah. yeah, and I didn't. Had I been in my corner sobbing and crying, mm. we wouldn't have been able to mount the campaign we did. Yeah. So yes, even before the end of this month, mm. I will be in Pique mm. helping our structures to put the act together mm. because you're going out for, for a win. But language, yes, I I do think sometimes <laughs> you see those words and I feel sorry for the person on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have been as yeah. strong as <laughs> Yeah, as that. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah, I believe that now Quenti Atama are like um before the questions and before the there are three points like that I would like us to discuss quickly, mm. uh, including Maung. I get a, yes. yeah, hey, I get like that is your constituency. Yes, 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 yes. Um quickly, um now, well, I would like to ask you this question. Or like, do you believe that elections were rigged? At the same time, looking from afar, now, mm. the UDC, like a rigging of elections, you were not much into mm. the picture. Mm. What is your stand with that? Well, why wasn't I much into the picture? Yeah. I'm told UDC Quickly, has yeah. a report, a mm. supang how elections were rigged. Mm. I was the vice president of the UDC. Yeah. And I could not get it. Mm. The national executive of the UDC did not have that report. Mm. One person had it. Mm. The president of the UDC did not have that report. How high? The president of the UDC did not what are the reasons mm. before it was done. You call any member of the UDC how we elections rigged. How they were rigged. No, like they always say like the judicial system that I never understand. So yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not confused. I'm not confused. The people's court. Yeah. In the UDC. Because they're not killing the dark or the I was waiting for that. But why not you get Hey, yeah, 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 the the Rayo People's yeah. Court. Yeah. What are they going to passionate in saying? Indeed, that was true. Mm. However, mm. Botswana elections are not free and fair. Your point being, like, how do you support your point? They are not free and fair. Mm. You know, you can't have a fair contest. Can mm. I fair contest? What they were moon nalo and arabole longo retaboga. Hundred meters, resimul laha, Tabuleta Tunya, Yoro and Pilqua, Uinagar. Miago got the Tabora hundred meters. Hobotui, Mikaruana du Melango Motelil. A Joey and a Wahona five meters from the line. Yoho Hillets on Harion. Can a Joey and a Otaleta Lodrisa scooter? When not Tabaka Maut. It's not a fair contest, I get. Ronamo de Topon Tormelorona, Liberatin Lintia. 
you look at BTV, mm. which is our tax money. Mm. I never watch it now because I think it's just irritating. I'm told one by the bell, or a lima lika, or lika registration in Helian. Who had to our Ramobi TV, who superb minister Rabbi Quell said it up. As if Ronagara equal this, by opposition. So they're working on the mind of the voter. The rally is a BDP, they are superb. I mean, Malatina Ritoboril. So press conference, mm. BTV ya no kaisa tole it. Mm. By met sati loko tla tuing BDP na le press conference. Mm. I get mm. that tilts the skills. Mo mm. mm. Funding of political parties. Mm. How compete le moto? Ena iloko re ha simola ona di kuro di sixty one can afford that muscle. When you don't have one, mo ko ngi ba tubago ba patela sa ko pagama di bas, ko hubu ala ba tubi. BDP president Tabone atomakan sa di plane ni di helicopter. It's not a fair contest by any standard. Eh, so I will agree with anyone who says part of the biggest problem kyo re the system. Is rigged mm -hmm. like in the favor mm -hmm. of the ruling party. Okay. Yeah. Mm. But Oroka Super, look, rigging in other countries is dramatic. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, the Zambia government is a little bit of a little a Asangoyo le shorobe, abulu ka tu. Yeah, like that. That's what they do. Yeah, like that. Abulu ka tu. Like that. Yeah. And then ka ka six ebo kuchal. Yeah. Kuna rali BDP restaurant ko kosim wad in maung. Ako kuna le matopelo ali twenty. Taro na di well di di dins. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah, like that's what they do in other countries. So I don't know if you could just say, "Kuna na I believe he who." Alleges must prove, I guess. Eh, but bagar ona ba you disi kabar rigging kabar kabar bonsi o pesip. Ki blind loyalty to the leader. Or the president lost because there was rigging. Like that's what you think motivates them. That's what motivates them. He lost, but. How robot saba tova ni mbato pamo kaboroni? Did you see any of the UDC supporters being chased away from voting booths? None. Aker. Ako na lewa ba ni mbato na uba kanela ko top? None. Yano kini topa tawa di hukuti hili. Because people are not happy with him. It's true. It's true. We may not want to say it, but it's true. Do you think that um the karma factor in 2019 played a role in people being unhappy with? It played a role. I visited uh, many households. Yeah. Yeah. People were telling us, Gori, we have a problem with the people who are in the People were telling us, Gori, we have a problem voting for you. The unions also told us point blank. Remember, 2014, UDC had the unions behind it. Mm. Were the unions there in 2019? No, they stayed away. It was not a bad that is calm. Recuperate. Hey. Mm. So, Recuperate. like, they didn't want nothing to do with it. In the South, mm. it had the opposition. Mm. In the central. In central district, yeah, it, it, it helped. Yeah. So, the question really out there is on a balance of scales, what was more pronounced? Mm. Was it the protest in the South or the approval in the central? I don't know. Mm. Hey. Um, quickly, um, before it's an actual moment, um, it was quite surprising to see members of parliament by BCP being, uh, getting expelled from the party. Like, um, Dita Poligorapes has already mentioned, mm. Ramohapi Kupalap and mm. others. Yes. Uh, four or five. Yes, yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, five. Um, I was there wondering, what, are these guys, like, can these guys really see that, like, they are losing out on men? By the way, like they can try to use again for the Are you guys not worried or losing them uh, poses as a risk 
ya gore le ka winner those seats gape kana gore go Look a decision had to be had to be made. This loyalty is a big thing. It's not a small thing. Um if you leave Kuri we saw in this comrades yeah a cancer mm-hmm. a cancer that was growing mm. if we live with it the whole body may become cancerous mm. but if we cut haling mm. yes we will not run as fast for now mm. until we learn to run without the rest of the leg mm-hmm. but it's important to cut off this leg to save the rest of the body mm. My BCP home piano by it. Disloyalty is not accepted. Mm. More organization. Mm. You cannot be a member and assume that you are bigger than the organization. Mm. You may be called honorable, but you are not more important. Mm. Remember what Bakubi Luiki, the member. Mm. The member, mm. not me, mm. not the central committee. Mm. Members queued up. Mm. Baba ngwe di khaolo tsa bone like in the case of never tsabang and um, body type there are constituencies where clear it was one way traffic mm. but out ah tswe ah tswe o re direla botho jwe simbone re tla batla yo mongwe yo tla ikobelang party e i can't claim today to be mo sabata and do all the things against what the church stands for mhm yeah ga simolana le bone ke ha rologana ka diotse di ntsi bile ke bua gore lo ga iswa ke ngwe le ke rekele i must just pack my bags and go to that church yeah agir le bone they should have walked go and put them so bana ya bone but their own members go di khaolo ntsa bone bana ba ba ra ba ra kha o ganeng go le mo ngwe na abua wa ma parliament ona wa re a ene wa kha metso tshuki le na saka nyore party e ka ba ko ba ba le kana 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 ko ile ngwe your point exactly they thought they had security in numbers yeah or there are too many to be chased out no there were not too many there were not too many this one decision should the need arise in the future we will do it again mm Like that. Yes, we will do it again. Any chances of them coming back in case they repent? Oh yes. Okay. Oh yes, I agree we did say. Actually I said mm. at the conference in Ebakoba. Mm. Gore mela ga lo ka tso lo khopisegilane ke ha lo kopa. Mm. Ai re ba 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 ipona mposo ba boa. Hela ya ka morwa sesinyi a boa. Na ke ha go kopa gore ba tlhabelwe e nonneng. Did I live up to my word? Mm. Yes, I did. Mm. One of them saw the light mm. and decided this was a wrong move mm. parliament technica pinga wako mm. kavango and i've been to his constituency quite a number of times so like he's back in the party now campaigning for him he's our candidate okay for 2024 i was in his constituency 30 december but well more holiday like you know campaign interesting yes interesting uh chief ghost Sir. yeah what are those questions can you i have three actually uh can't i mm. Mm. What are the strategies in the you as the as, as as an opposition party are you are you implementing to try to aid for the honorable for the students and the sa the ruling party. The second question would be follow the BDP the one the campaign you were born never had where by they were they were they were urging people on it if they want to attend shows they should provide um what you call it So I just want to know your opinion on that and the third one is as 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 the BCP how do you leverage social media to to aid you guys in terms of the campaign itself on it Okay hmm. very interesting questions unfortunately chief gustana mike they're tied to qualify like like they're tied to qualify so that I'll state uh, I'll, I'll yeah. restate the question and and answer okay. it Yeah ori re nga funding gore re se ka ra gatelelo mo go heteletseng ke the ruling party ka yone na le funding our members are our biggest resource mm. both in terms of putting in time mm. with the campaign in the party but also contributing i mean i must say ka 2019 mm. 
when I had my lunch, old men with no source of income, come mm. when I back when I home, I I think I had more than more than five cattle mm. to slaughter on a single day. Hara I did this at the table. Let's see what I would do some work out. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, like so the, the generosity of our yeah. people uh. Uh, sees, us, sees us through in a big way. Mm. But Runagape, we've not made it a secret to Sometimes, yes, we do get assistance, mm. even from outside the country. Mm. Um, I think we have stated publicly that um, we have a relationship with the British Labour Party. Oh, okay. Uh, quite a number of times we run. Um, leadership development workshops, mm. Mopati, mm. and we are using the funds mm. that they avail. In fact, mm. um, a lot of, I've had clips, audio clips of the current president, Asan Zale Vice President, Abu Ahau, well trained, but by BCP, ah, BCP, mm. join. Yes, and, how, and others have talked about how BCP is possibly the most organized party mm. because we invest in our people mm. and that is the biggest resource mm. going forward. And then BDP, Idirisa, its muscle also now, um, if you want to go for this show, you'll get in for free. I mean, look, come mm. on. You may have seen the Gazette newspaper, BDP. Mm. There are two big festivals mm. hosted by two ministers of cabinet on mm. the same day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. With huge stage. You can be sure it costs over half a million pula at the minimum. Mm. So more than a million pula an atulan. Mm. BDP. Remu Zunila had his own festival. Mm. Remu Lebatsi had his own festival. Mm. Same village, hosting huge festivals. Mm. I, I think the voter will see through this. Mm. Because I get right, it's already one of the super job athletes in joining Wakatsidi Hitinori. Big attendance at a festival doesn't mean they're voting for you. <laughs> I Yeah. So now I think our message will still go through. Yeah. Um are social media? Yes. Raidirisa. That's the second question, eh? Yeah? Oh, okay, yeah. mm. But I'm 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 the first to admit I still reach our full potential. Mm. Uh, we are exploring more. Mm. Um, and we are talking to more younger people mm. who are more techno savvy than Ronama 74, <laughs> Lepile 74. Yeah. So I can assure you that we will use more and more social media mm. as we head up to. In fact, Humpienu, I'm amazed by the efforts our publicity secretary has to put in mm. to get the party message out. Mm. It was nothing like during my term when I was publicity secretary mm. of the Botswana Congress Party. Mm. Times have changed. Yeah. I wouldn't have coped. Mm. And I'm sure soon we will be looking at even more advanced forms of getting our message through. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Like, are, the, uh, are all questions answered? Yeah, no, they are answered. Okay. Um, Lord Dooms, yeah. Mahung. Yes. Mm, Mahung, that's Mahung where village. you, yeah. That's where, like, that's your village. Yes. Yeah, that's your home now. Um, now you are MP for Mahung West. Yes. Yes. And that's the tourism capital. Oh, yeah. Without doubt. Yeah, without doubt. At the same time, it's quite surprising how, in terms of economically, Mahung Yes. At the same time, it's the tourism capital. Yes. It doesn't make sense. Yes. To a layman like me. Yes. How can you explain that? We are not the only ones who face this predicament. economics, mm. the paradox of plenty. Okay. The paradox of plenty. The paradox of plenty. Mm. 
Um, the other term they use for red, you know, the paradox of plenty key, resource case. Mm. Resource case. Resource case. Yeah. Already resources. Mm. But you seem cursed. Mm. I get it. Mm. You've got plenty at your disposal. Mm. But your life does not reflect the plenty. Mm. It's a paradox. Yeah. Why is it that communities? Yeah, quickly. Communities say, mm. the humility, the kumo. Mm. Mm. Mao is such an example. Mm. And you know what? The reality of it is this. Mao generates a whole lot of income for Botswana. Mm. That income is then taken out to other areas mm -hmm. for develop. Mm. I'm not going to, I'm not doing this out of Remember, my mother is from the South. Mm. Okay. Mm. But there are many constituencies in the South. Mm. No movement. Mm. Honorable Peggy Sram as Minister of Finance will not need to worry. Mm. My dear Tsananga change. Mm -hmm. But mm. they are more developed than Mau. Mm. How got to Mau mm. We know we're facing an economic crisis. Mm. I get it. E. It means millions and millions are not coming in. Mm. But dear Tsewa, the Bedisu are going to be And I think. This could be a recipe for instability. Mm. One of the reasons why I'm so lazy, I'm sitting in my hotel in like Mozambique. Mm. that area, it's rich in resources, mm -hmm. but it's one of the most undeveloped mm. parts of Mozambique. Mm. So it becomes there is discontent, mm. but but then they want to overthrow the system. Mm. And when terrorists come in and say, "Team with us, we want to." Overthrow the government. But mm. they don't see the benefit. Mm. So the point I've been making in the parliament mm. is that we can't continue along this route. How do I work with the parliament that BDP by a heckler, but we are Samurai? But it's the reality facing us. Mm. In fact, I remember one old man in the Kotako Maung, I met Lantari, Bako Piro Rebari Hemadiarona. Mm. You see the sentiments that are coming out. Mm. So, Maun can be as developed as any other part of Botswana. Mm. Some of the things, you know, there are also low hanging fruits. Mm. Even without asking government to bring in to more funds. Mm. If government was truly committed, mm. Maung is the tourism hub, mm. but the truth is the tourism destination. Mm. If we were to make policies and programs, mm. the tourists, Baba mm. Delta, just 25% of them, Balale mm. Maung. That changes the economy of Maung. Yeah, it does. Overnight, mm. Maung becomes a thriving mm. city. Yeah. But government is not interested. It's something I have pleaded with the minister. I've even talked to the president about one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. But the government is not committed. Mm. So now I think it's something that can be turned around mm. and turn Maung into a Las Vegas of Botswana, yeah. the entertainment center. Mm. We can have the SADC's most plush casinos. Yeah. Because this is the places. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You hop out of the Delta in a small plane, one night in Maung, these are your options. Mm. They will come. Yeah. But government doesn't want to see the bigger picture. Yeah. Hey, uh, Honorable, Harina Lelona Nana Kuichala Elem Mabatota. Maybe we should do that part two out in the, yeah, like out. I will be That's very right. happy to see you. Yeah. Out um, there. Hey, Yano Le, Leka Kualo Ono Sokotza Meile Me, Resenter Le Tenga. Kabona Ku, 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 Kabona Yes. But Oba Ma Ungu Bara Ure Ngin Closing. Ma Ungu I think Batoba Maung have now
pasted ba ikutletse ba bone kemedi ya me gore ga kere ke tla ba buelela ke sa swelentswe ke ne ke raja i have also gone an extra mile and used my own efforts to introduce the Otsene Basadit. We now have an annual medical test exercise. Mm. And I'm saying this, Kaurki Simonotseka, my own condition. Mm. Where we, last this uh, last year, January, mm. we had planned to have a, a place where people can come and do basic tests mm. for free. Yeah. Our target was that Harika Bonaba Tobali 1,000 in one day, we will have done an excellent job. Mm. We had a turnout of more than 2,500 wow. people. Wow, ah, that's good. We are doing it this year, mm. and we are trying to double to 5,000 people in one day. Mm. But then we test the labo, sukiri boi. Of course, the downside of it is that house and our tester, then what? Mm. Because the health sector, Mobotswana, has collapsed. Mm. Unless if you're on medical aid, mm. you have a problem. Mm. So I'm hoping that this election, mm. the voter will have these issues in mind. Mm. Le hang at the wahatu on a lip prostate cancer. It's the hotel more stage one, yako stage two, it's almost stage two, yako stage three. Kawa Kawana di Tuso, Kodi Patele. Can I get to Sakuramente that can address these issues? Honorable Dumelan Salishando, do you have a middle name? No, I don't. My parents just gave all of us one name. Oh, one name. And then each. I've done the same with my children. One name. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you so much, Honorable. Uh, Baba say to Melan Nakuaro and I've had two years. So, thank you so much. And again. apologies to those yeah. I may have offended, but those are my views. <laughs> Chief Ghost, uh, thank you so much, man. To the overviewers, thank you so much, guys. Remember that we ride together and we die together. And this is how we sound that baby. With a vr pa! <laughs> we out. 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 Out.